Luke is an excellent well-rounded character that can do a little bit of everything and have a tool for every situation. His sand blaster is a pretty good zoning tool that is sure to annoy the opponent because of its fast travel time and when they happen to jump he got the anti-airs with his crouching heavy punch and his uppercuts who will cover most angles. His grounded normals are also excellent. Most of Luke's normals will move him forward and this allows him to have easier times than most characters to wave punish when someone happens to extend and when he happens to land the hits, his combo damage is really high and corner carry is very good as well. His combo conversions even from lights are extremely good because his crouching light punch can be drive rush cancelled and you get big damage out of that. It also can be cancelled into EX flash knuckle for good combo juggle. His standing light kick into drive rush is one of the strongest tools in the game at shaking the opponent and converting from that into combos and corner carry. And once you happen to get them in the corner he got a real throw loop that you can harass the opponent with and also he got the ability to go into a low or overhand mix-ups out of his drive rush in knockdowns. Luke also happens to have probably the best level 1 super in the game, the startup on it is very short, it's fully invincible so this will allow you to punish a ton of things and it's very easy to combo into. Seriously his level 1 super is good enough to make an argument for modern Luke being very viable. Luke also doesn't really have any shortcomings or any flaws in his character design. The only time you may face some issues is against heavy projectile zoning, when the opponent have a better fireball than you, like say Guile, but it's not that big of a deal because a jump in will be very rewarding for him and in general you can just outplay your opponent into the ground. Luke is just amazing in all aspects of Street Fighter 6. So as we always do, we're gonna start first talking about a character's light moves and I'm gonna start first with his crouching light punch because this could be one of his best normals. No, honesty. It's four frames, so it's the fastest a move can be in Street Fighter 6 and it got really good range, right? Uh, for a four frame, the range here is fantastic. It's really, really good. Now, because this is your fastest move, if your opponent is approaching you, this is what you want to use defensively, right? Let's say also if Ken is doing like a block string, something like this, and you know there is a gap there and you want to challenge, uh, this is your best bet. Now, what makes this move so special is what you get out of it, right? You can combo it into itself three times and still get a light flash knuckle. This will knock down and you can also combo it into an EX flash knuckle, right? And this opens up a lot of possibility. I just said that it is a move that you would want to use if the opponent is approaching, right? So now you can do stuff like that, combo into the level one super, and now you have gotten yourself a lot of space to work with and got away from the corner situation, right? For defensive usage, this is great. But this move is also excellent if you wanna spend meter on drive rush, right? Because you can cancel it into a drive rush and then combo it into itself. And notice here, Luke was plus eight. So a drive rush canceled or a drive rush uh, crushing heavy uh, light punch will combo into crouching heavy. What I'm trying to say is, like if you interrupt an opponent who's trying to approach you like that, like Ken is, right? You can get a situation like that, get a drive rush combo. Now I have pushed him almost all the way into the other side and I'm pressing him. Defensively, you can't ask for more than that. This is pretty much perfection. Now, it's also amazing offensively because I said it comboed into itself three times, but also you can do, uh, you can go crouching light punch, light kick into another light punch, right? What makes this so good is that obviously, like if he's blocking, uh, I can throw him after that, or I can go for the low shake to catch him walking back. 
This makes it particularly powerful. And even in the corner situation like that, you want to shake them getting up, right? Uh, like you can easily harass them with it. So it's great combo tool. It's great defensively. It's great as an offensive uh, rushdown frame trap tool. One of the best moves in the game. And the range on it is fantastic for a four frame. Awesome move. You're gonna be using a ton of it. Uh, next up is his standing light punch. And his standing light punch is pretty unique. It's seven frames, which is really slow for a light. Uh, I don't. I think it's probably the slowest light in the game. It's either eight or Zangief light kick. I think they're both seven frames, but it moves him forward a lot. And obviously got a target combo attached to it, light, medium, heavy. On hit, you can either go into whatever you want, right? But I like to go into heavy flash knuckle because it gives you like a decent knockdown but if you want to go for a corner carry stuff I like go for the EX knuckle this will bob them up as you saw and then like get the heavy knuckle and this will give you better OK but obviously you're spending bar and it's it, it, it's it, it's scaled a lot so it, I don't know it's like I don't love it particularly but it's good for carrying them to the corner now this move is pretty ridiculous on block notice here it's minus three which typically means that you don't get much right when it becomes really annoying is when you get the opponent into burnout, right? Because once here Ken is in burnout, this becomes plus one on block. So with this range, eh, 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 like you now you have got them in the infinite. <laughs> it becomes a very annoying tool, right? And because it can be a blast like that, uh, it's also very good out for drive rush because it moves him forward. So even from like a full screen distance like that, uh, notice how much I moved forward. So it's a pretty good check tool. It's gonna be part of your neutral. Typically, his standing medium punch is better, and the startup difference between seven and nine isn't that dramatic, but still pretty good, especially like I said in burnout, right? And the target combo, um, you can do this on block if you want to make yourself safe. Like you just cancel into the AX Fireball. I know some people like to do it and then like go for a charged heavy knuckle. But this is gimmicky, can be countered. The safest option is just the EX uh, Fireball. This is how you make yourself safe, right? And obviously you can even like cancel it into Drive Rush to continue your pressure. Next up is his Crouching Light Kick. And this by itself is pretty good and it's good in conjunction with uh, crouching light punch like i just said it's a low uh, that you can combo it into crouching light punch and then flash knuckle but it's also pretty good as a move to use from drive rush right because it will just automatically always chain into his crouching light punch like that right so if you want to surprise the opponent with a low from long distance and get some follow-ups out of it it is good in that regard and like i said just with checking uh, with this sequence right that's really really good now let's talk about his standing light kick because this again is also one of his best normals this is a great buffer doing standing light kick uh let me turn on my inputs so you can see what i'm doing um where is it all right so you want to do light kick and then do dash, right? And if the opponent happened to run into it, right, you can always get a drive rush into crouching light punch. And like I said previously, because this will let you combo into crouching heavy, you can get a lot of conversions out of that. A lot of Luke's moves uh, or a lot of his strategies could be revolved around setting up spacing traps. Like let's say you did stuff something like this like a crouching medium punch into crouching light punch. Now the opponent may try to take back their turn, but then you surprise him with a standing light kick and cancel it into the forward drive rush, or just even catching forward movement like that is a very viable strategy with him. So let's now move over to Luke's medium attacks. I'm gonna start first with his standing medium kick. This is the most straightforward poke you want to ask for in this game. It's seven frames and it got a lot of range. Obviously with Luke's walk speed that makes it really good and it's great against crouching medium kick type moves. If the opponent is checking you a lot with lows, this is great against that, right? Now on whiff it's 29 total frames, uh, so you are kinda susceptible to drive impact but it can be a lot worse for other characters so this is as good as it's gonna get really for that, right? You wanna control the space with it, 
with the medium and the light uh, sand blasters and obviously his forward heavy bunch it's one of your main tools to control this dash distance right now next up is his standing medium punch and this one is really big for this character it moves him forward a lot right just like his lights and light, light punch medium punch heavy punch all of them move him forward a lot notice how far he goes with this one and it is nine frame startup that is really really fast right obviously got a target combo attached to it which is for mediums and it is pretty good to use as like a wave punish tool notice can wave the security medium kick so you get the wave punish and you can super cancel up to the second uh, hit right so if i'm doing the second hit i can just go into any of the supers level one two or three all of them will combo but what makes this move really stand out to me is how it works with drive rush right uh, because obviously drive rush kind of boosts the forward momentum and it already moves look forward he moves forward so much so quickly with drive rush when you just drive rush into standing medium much notice that's kind of crazy right so this is what I like to use it for, uh, and even obviously on block, typically it's gonna be like minus three, but with drive rush, it's gonna be plus one. So you can always like kinda just YOLO drive rush in, standing medium bunch, and then like go for a grab, or like frame trap with him with a crouching light punch. That's all really good. And like I said, it's a pretty good whiff punish, but the good thing about it is that when you happen to get the whiff punish, uh, it's gonna be plus six. Right, and plus six means that you get to combo a crouching medium. Uh, this one was like too far, but here I got to combo a crouching medium, which obviously means that I can combo a lot out of that. Right, so this is gonna be one of your main control tools, and it's an excellent whiff punish move for Luke. Now, let's move over to his crouching moves, starting first with the crouching medium kick. Let's start with the medium kick first. This is very standard uh, crouching medium kick. Its startup is eight frames. Uh, the range on it is actually pretty average compared to the other characters. And obviously you wanna use what you do a lot with other characters in this game, which is crouching medium kick. And then uh, like cancel that into drive rush and press the opponent after, or if you happen to get the hit, drive rush into hits, right? Now, one thing that is really unique about this move is that it got a target combo attached to it, which is a down medium kick into down heavy bunch. And you can kinda hit confirm this. And when you happen to hit confirm it, uh, you will be at a plus one advantage, so you can throw them afterwards, right? Uh, this is very unique in this game. You're not getting a ton of damage out of it, but it's putting you in a pretty good situation, right? If you have played Street Fighter 6 in any capacity, you know how powerful Crouching Medium Kick into Drive Rush is, and obviously, uh, like all of the good combos you can get out of that and uh, even if your opponent happened to block you're still in a good situation and just doing something like drive rush into it <laughs> and then drive rush cancelling it is pretty good so it's a very standard crouching medium kick that you will want to be using a lot now the final medium he has that is not a command normal is his crouching medium bunch and this is probably the cornerstone of Luke's pressure game uh, because this is plus one on block so you can frame trap with it into his crouching light bunch and the really good thing about the sequence is that it's a natural combo and hit as well right so if you happen to do that sequence and they got hit hey uh, that jab will combo and then obviously you can get like a light knuckle or like an EX knuckle right the move will also combo into standing light kick so if you happen to get the hit from further distance uh, this also works and then obviously light or ex knuckle or like drive rush and get more and it's also very good to use out of a drive rush uh, because out of a drive rush crouching medium punch becomes plus nine which means that you get a crouching heavy as well right this is also really good the headbox on it is really good so it catches a lot of flows right It's one of the moves that you kind of want to use to buffer because it can lead to a lot, right? But mainly you will use this for pressure. That's probably the primary use for it and obviously useful in combos. I will be leaving a combo section at the end. Now, the final medium he got, which is a command normal, is his overhead, right? It's 21 frame startup. It leaves you at a plus two advantage, which 
isn't that amazing but if you somehow happen to get like a regular counter it it will be plus four uh, so you'll get like a jab jab out of it but what makes this really good is the fact that you can use it out of a drive rush to set up a low overhead gimmick right uh, because like you can drive rush into crouching uh light kick and this is a low sequence or drive rush into the overhead this is gonna be plus six so you can go for like a medium let's let's do it one more time right here i'm plus six which means i can go for a medium and then bam right crouching medium crouching jab and then get the follow-up all right so let's now talk about luke's heavy normals and i'm gonna start first with his heavy punch because just like his standing light and medium punches this one also moves him forward a lot right and look take a look at the distance like he moves away so far with this one what's really good about it is it's also special cancelable luke just checking with his standing heavy into a heavy sand blaster this is pretty much like in the Luke Bible. Uh, you're gonna be doing this all the time. And this is even good versus an opponent who's trying to drive impact. What you do after the heavy, right? right? She's trying to drive here. I get to drive impact as well and punish her. So this is like a fantastic string, right? And obviously if they're not doing anything, uh, this leaves you at like a zero advantage. And then like you can try to check their movement with a standing light kick or catch the start of a button. Now, because it moves him forward a lot and the hitbox is like really active as well, uh, it makes it really good move to use as a whiff punish, right? And obviously like you can get it into the uh, heavy knuckle and just doing something like this into heavy knuckle into level three, this does a ton of damage on characters, right? And obviously if you wanna use drive rush, uh, you can get more as well, right? Obviously, here I messed up the combo, but you get the idea, right? This can lead to a lot of damage. It's gonna be one of your main tools, especially once you get the opponent to the corner. Uh, fishing with it into just a heavy fireball is gonna be a very big part of your gameplay. And obviously, you can also like whiff punish with it uh, into the run shoulder, right? This also leads to a great knockdown if you wanna go for something meterless. It's, it's honestly one of his best wave punish tools as well. And the startup is 10 frames, uh, so it's not that bad, but obviously got a lot of recovery on wave. So you don't want to be whiffing this one. Uh, next up is his crouching heavy punch. Uh, obviously, this is an anti air, and it's actually surprisingly good as an anti air. Uh, it hits like directly above Luke's head right so if you if you can't or if you don't want to do like the tp this is an amazing anti-air move to use and this is a key move in your combo game right all of luke's drive rush combo leads into you landing the crouching heavy bunch because after it you can fully charge the light knuckle and obviously this is like the easiest route and then like go do whatever an uppercut or like a medium knuckle uh, I mean, all of that is fine, but you want to get the juicy stuff with the perfect and the medium knuckle as well, because out of a crouching heavy bunch, like you can get the medium knuckle and this leads to a lot of damage if you follow up on the uh, like corner bounce combo. So it's a key move in your combo game. I will talk more about this in the special move, uh, since it have a lot to do with the knuckles and obviously combos as well. You will find the combo section at the end. So it's an anti-air and it's a very big part of his combo structure. Now, next up, let's talk about the forward heavy punch. And uh, this is good for Luke. Uh, if you play Street Fighter V, this is pretty much like a bison style psycho axe. Uh, it's a move that you can throw. It moves him forward a lot. And obviously, uh, like if you happen to get the hit on this one, uh, like you can just do the second hit. And this is like a target combo and you can cancel this one right and if you have it to get do it and it's on block guess what i mean that's still pretty safe right minus three you're pretty safe um it's pretty good in, in that regard right as a target combo you don't want to do it on block because the opponent may try to interrupt you and they will get the interruption so it's forward move can lead to combos pretty good check in my opinion right now, next up, we're gonna talk about his kicks. I'm gonna start first with the back heavy kick. 
Uh, this is a pretty good anti-air, although you don't get much out of it. Like at best you're gonna get a situation like that. You used to get a lot more in the beta, but now unfortunately he doesn't. But what's really good about this move is its utility in combos, right? Because typically it's leave you at a plus four advantage, so you can link a jab afterwards. But obviously out of a drive rush you get a crouching heavy. Uh, so... Right, as you can see, and now probably as you saw in the intro, these two moves combined make up for the bulk of damage on Luke's grounded drive rush uh, combos, right? It's very, very important in that regard, right? And otherwise, there isn't that much that you can do with it. Uh, like, you can catch the opponent on a punish counter with it as well. Like, let's say, for example, the opponent did something that is punishable, and you got the punish counter. This is a move you want to use for that reason, uh, because it puts them in a spin state. Like, let's make Marisa with something. Right? Like, let's say she whiffed that. I uh, want to punish with that uh, back heavy kick, uh, because you do get the juggle state here. Uh, you can just drive rush forward, crouching medium punch. This will hit, and then, like, you can get, uh, like, a follow-up combo into crouching heavy punch. And that is the party starter. So it's a decent anti-air, useful in combos, and it's gonna be your main punish counter move. Now, next up is his uh, standing heavy kick. And this standing heavy kick is particularly interesting because it got a lot of active frames, right? As you can see, it got six active frames. And if it's spaced well, if like if you're spacing it as a maximum range, something like here maybe, uh, you can be up to plus four. And this means that you can get it uh, to combo into his crouching light punch, right? And get a follow up out of that. Even on a counter hit, I uh, will be like plus six, so you get a medium. It's pretty good, especially in the corner, uh, because like you can set it up after the throw, right? And we at the plus four advantage, so you get to press them afterwards. Even on block, if you happen to get like the good spacing, right? I just wasn't spaced that well. As you can see, like you can get, I, I believe you can get it to like zero. I believe you can space it up to be like neutral on block, but maybe it's like negative one is the best you can get, right? But it's pretty good move to throw out. It's very active, and if you happen to space it well, you are safe, right? Uh, it, it can be used in combos, although it's kind of finicky, right? It does this like little pop up. <laughs> which is uh, pretty funny. Uh, obviously, like, you can get like a juggle uppercut here, but that isn't like the optimal damage. And if you happen to get it as a punish counter, it like launches them in the air, and then like you get a follow up combo, which does good damage. But again, it's not really what you want to do. You want to use the back heavy kick for that aspect, right? And finally, we got his sweep, and this is just a typical sweep. Uh, like you can use it for whiff punishing or. You don't really want to combo it into it that much, it's just a regular sweep. The final move that Luke got is his back heavy bunch. This is his suppressor, V skill 2 from Street Fighter 5. It's very good in this game uh, because you can use it in the neutral. Notice Luke's kind of moves backwards, there's this way movement here. And this little step back makes it really good in the neutral to bait and punish moves. Like here Marisa is gonna walk forward and then crouching medium punch. Uh, the little back movement can force her and button to whiff and then I get mine to hit, right? This is one of the main uses for it. Uh, you can use it in the neutral and as you saw, it's cancelable here and you get ton of damage out of it. But what's really good about it as well is its utility against throws, especially in pressure, right? Uh, obviously the move by itself is minus three so it is safe and you can special cancel it uh, to make it like even safer but if you happen to land it and the opponent say god to wake up with a grab here you will be plus seven uh, you can immediately like cancel it itself into like some knuckles and get combos or even just uh, go for a crouching heavy bunch afterwards right this should be like a two hitting combo Right? And that could lead to a ton of damage. Uh, if you played Street Fighter V in any capacity, this is kind of similar to a Guile upside down kick in terms of utility. Luke can get thrown out of it. Uh, it's not like throw invincible. 
right so there's a little bit of timings that you have to be aware of and it's more of a spacing thing like, like yeah you need to take like a step backwards and kind of time it uh like when you predict the opponent will try to throw uh, correctly so it's not like a brain dead throw bait but if you have it two lands ahead <coughs> it can lead to a lot of damage it can lead to a lot of damage but if you happen to but if you happen to land the hit, it can lead to a lot of damage. Alright, so let's now talk about Luke's notable air normals and air moves in general. I'm gonna start first with his jumping medium kick because this is your cross up. And this is good enough because you can easily combo a crouching heavy afterwards and get like a pretty good damaging Luke combo with his flash knuckles. And uh, now let's stop DJ from doing that, right? Uh, his jumping light kick can also cross up, uh, but you're only getting jabs out of that one. And the range on it and when it might cross up or not is a little bit tricky, right? His jumping heavy bunch is actually pretty great. The angle on it is very downwards. Uh, so if, like, if you're jumping from close distance like that, it looks like you're gonna cross up with like a medium kick, but then a jumping heavy like will hit from the front just because of how much like downwards the hitbox goes right obviously if you do it that early you're typically like not getting that much like you'll get like a crouching medium punch afterwards so you don't get the max damage for like maximum damage you want to land it a little bit deeper but if you want to get an attack that is easier to get max damage out of while not as great uh you will want to use his jumping heavy kick uh, this one is also more uh, horizontal as well, but obviously, like you get an easy combo into crouching heavy punch. So that is the target. You wanna let the jumping into crouching heavy punch. Uh, his jumping jab is um, pretty noticeable as well. Uh, it's pretty good to use as like uh, like his opponent jumping at you. Uh, or like jumping at you because it's quick and the headbox on it is pretty good for air to airs but what you really want to use in this situation is his jumping medium punch and even say if the opponent is like trying to go for a cross up on you uh, jump back medium punch is the way to go this sets up a juggle state now obviously there is like the air knuckle and you can get this to combo out of his jumping medium punch right and this leads to some pretty decent damage overall right so for air to airs jumping medium jumping light for jump bins medium kick light kick or your cross ups jumping heavy punch is kind of tricky jumping heavy kick is pretty much more standard all right so let's now talk about luke's special moves and we're gonna start first with his fireballs uh, they are pretty unique fireballs in street fighter uh, because of the travel speed of the fireballs obviously got different versions uh, the light moves the shortest distance so it, it's it's about like a poke. You want to think of the light sandblaster as a poke. You want to use it from this range. It's 14 frame startup, disjointed hitbox. It's really fast, so the opponent may just walk into it, and that makes it good. But obviously, 47 total frames, so you are susceptible to jumps, drive impacts, all of that, right? You don't want to spam this one because the jump will cost you a lot, right? Now move to this distance maybe and the light sand blaster will whiff and you will have to use the medium sand blaster. 17 frame startup, they are less likely to walk into this one, although obviously it is possible. So it is a little bit more uh, suitable to be used in the mid range, but still carries the risks of getting jumped in all, right? Obviously move back a little bit more and it whiffs, so you want to use the heavy sand blaster. This is 20 frame startup. It doesn't go full screen. Like if the opponent is full full screen, it doesn't reach that far, but it reach about like 80% of the screen. So if I'm from this range, maybe it will reach. So not quite full screen, but almost, right? And this is important because there are characters like Ryu, for example, who may just want to sit full screen and charge dungeon. So if you can't really like check him from this distance, uh, you're letting him getting away for free. This is important to know, right? At 20 frames startup, this one is reactable. It's very unlikely that the opponent will actually just run into this one. Uh, it doesn't really happen. But what makes a heavy fireball particularly good is the fact that it's really good on block, right? Heavy bunch 
into the heavy uh, fireball sandblaster this is really really good and uh, because obviously like in the neutral like that you will be plus one so you get to act first maybe poke them or try to do like a medium or whatever but what makes us pretty stupid is actually burnout uh, because if you got the opponent in burnout uh, the heavy fireball here will become plus like regardless of the range so something like this becomes plus five and uh he does heavy bunch into the heavy uh sand blaster right plus five so you get to harass the opponent here right becomes pretty ridiculous You see, like, you get to do a ton with this one, so it's pretty stupid in Burnout. Uh, finally, obviously, we got the EX Fireball. Very, very fast, goes full screen. This is the one that will go full screen, right? So you, you want to keep that in mind. So if the opponent like to just run full screen and set up, this is how you stop them. And obviously, it is very good in Fireball Wars, uh, simply because of the travel speed right it's very easy to punish other fireball users with this one and obviously got a second part that you might want to use if you want to attack in a little bit more damage now one thing i want to quickly mention is a situation where you will land the target combo right like this one on block a uh, lot of luke players uh, will try to go for like a heavy fireball but then get drive impacted or like go for a heavy knuckle and then get drive impacted if you want to be safe just cancel this one into the x fireball right notice here i was able to block which means that i'm able to drive impact as well so if you happen to commit to this target combo and you want to make yourself safe ex fireball is the way to go right in a lot of situations this is the best way to make yourself safe it is safe regardless of the distance and it's very hard to punish from an opponent right now next up uh, let's make Ryu jump because we're gonna talk about his uppercut right pretty standard sure you can style move light medium heavy they vary in speed uh, light one is five frames heavy medium is six and heavy is nine so the heavy one is the slowest and that doesn't make it a good one to use as a last second anti-air like if you're going for the last moment anti-air deep uppercut use the light because it comes out the fastest but uh like the heavy one as you'll see you might actually get hit uh, i don't recommend going for a nine frame dp as a deep uppercut right now one thing you will notice is that they all move look forward right and this is tricky when the opponent is jumping at you because let's say here Ryu is going for a cross up this is very possible this might happen to you uh, because of the way the move goes look might just walk under them or like move forward under them and this gets you punished so if the opponent is jumping very close to you I will recommend going for the crouching heavy punch anti-air, right? Um, for the most part, this is consistent. Obviously, like you can go for like cross cuts, but I don't really recommend them again in this game because because of his forward movement, jump arcs, and general movement, they are prone to whiffing. What I like to do is just walk back and crouching heavy punch. This is easy, consistent, and it works. Right. His crouching heavy punch is a very good anti-air. Obviously, if you got knocked down and the opponent is trying to press you on wake up, say something like this, uh, the EX uppercut is your invincible reversal. And what's really good about this is that you can tack in an extra hit. Right? Obviously, it takes an extra stock, but this is like 20% out of a like a, a wake up reversal, or even like six says they jump at you and you want to get secures around this is these this is decent damage for an anti-air right this is very good as a round ender type of move right now next up we're gonna talk about his uh, charge tackle and i want to get a different character for this one uh, because there is some interesting applications for the charge tackle move the charge tackle is a move it's a two barter uh, Luke will do the initial rush, right? And then you can do a punch or kick, and depending on it, uh, the follow-up will be different. Uh, let's, let's not do that, Blanca, right? So you can go for the punch, or you can go for the kick, and the kick is an overhead. Uh, obviously, the kick is unsafe on block. So you don't really want to do that. You're minus 8, point blank, you're going to get punished. Uh, the shoulder, the rush uh, into punch, it's actually surprisingly safe, like from the full screen distance, 
uh, you can kind of space this one to be safe and uh, like obviously if I don't wave but yeah especially like from like almost full screen distance if you hit at the table like that you will pretty much be safe right so this is a way that you can use it but obviously very susceptible to drive impact so you don't want to do that <coughs> um. What you want to use this move for is pretty much combos, uh, like if you happen to get a heavy bunch, combo into the shoulder, sets up a really good OK situation. Uh, if you ever get like the medium knuckle, perfect knuckle, this set up a situation where you get to juggle into the shoulder, this all is obviously pretty good as well. And uh, there are some juggle situations where you can get like the, uh, um, where you can get like the overhead flip. Like this very specific combo, and this also does set up a good okay situation. Uh, some loop players love to use this on wake up as sort of a mix up, but it's not that good. Now, what's interesting about this move is the EX version, right? The EX version is good because if you happen to use it in combos, you can cancel into level 2 super, right? So you can get something like that, and that does a pretty good corner carry again. There will be a combo section at the end, but what I love about this move is that it got a hit of armor. And this can be used to go and fight moves like Blanca's Blanca Ball, right? Right? If you see the move coming, uh, you can kind the of armor through and get decent punishes on him. This also works against moves like uh, Honda, etc. Tackle moves in general. If you happen to get the read, you can use the uh, forward advancing armor and then get follow-ups on that, right? It's a very specific tech, but it's one that I've been using a lot against Blanca, Honda, and these type of characters. Now, finally, let's talk about his flash knuckles, right? Because his flash knuckles are pretty much the core of Luke and it's what you're gonna be doing the most. Obviously got light, medium and heavy knuckles and light will come from light attacks and the medium will come from medium attacks and the heavy will come from heavy attacks. The heavy one knocks down, it's a pretty alright knockdown but if you wanna get pressure out of it, uh, you wanna use drive rush, right? Now, what's really vital about this move are, the, are Luke's ability to charge them, right? Uh, obviously, if you happen to do hold the button and fully charge it, Luke will do a powered up version. Uh, this is the regular knuckle. Powered up knuckle launches the opponent, and obviously, you can follow up juggle afterwards, right? This is kind of the point. If you have watched anything, Luke, you probably know about this, but there is the perfect charge, right? Right? When you say perfect and you see the purple spark, and perfect pretty much gives you a, an enhanced version. How do you get the perfect timing? Notice Luke's arm. Uh, like Notice that his arm are glowing, and when they are glowing the brightest, you want to let go of the button. That is pretty much the trick to it. Um, with some practice, you will get the hang of this. It is not terribly difficult. But with some practice you will get the hang of this now what's really vital to know is that out of crouching heavy bunch you can either get a fully charged knuckle and this is easy if you just want to go for easy combos or you can get the perfect knuckle and this will allow you to follow up into big combos uh, because perfect knuckle you then drive rush afterwards and get like a crouching heavy bunch into the medium knuckle right this is probably one of his best combo routes. Now, medium knuckles, a perfect charge, is also really important to learn because fully charged medium knuckle will not combo from crouching heavy bunch. Right? Notice this wasn't a combo. You have to get crouching heavy bunch into the perfect knuckle here. I missed it. Right? Crouching heavy bunch into perfect medium knuckle, this gives you the wall bounce and gives you a ton of damage, right? There is no grounded way that you can get uh, the fully charged heavy one, as far as I know, but you can get it in some juggle situation. They all give you better combos, they all give you better damage. Again, you will find a combo section at the end, and I have done a specific video dedicated 
to just getting the perfect knuckle, I will leave a link to it in the comment below. What is finally left for Luke are his EX knuckles and this is pretty much a combo extension. If you're good with your perfect knuckles, chances are you will only need this if you're comboing from the light ones, right? If you're comboing like from crouching light bunch, this is the only time you might really need EX knuckles, otherwise just if you want to attack in a little bit of damage now what's good about this is that if you press like punches again you can do as a follow-up here and this follow-up typically does a lot of damage like let's say i did ex knuckle into an uppercut this is 1600 but if i did the knuckle into the follow-up this is 2400 so if you just want to secure a ton of damage really quickly bam ddt sick looking move very easy did a ton of damage but obviously you're losing out on drive before I move over into his supers, I wanted to quickly talk about his most probably niche special and that is the air knuckle because this move is very very specific. You want to use it in very specific situations. One of them, like say for example the opponent knocks you in the corner and they're trying to press you. Like let's say Blanca uh, is doing something like this, right? I can wake up and then go for a heavy knuckle, aerial knuckle, and I got away. Uh, they have to be ready for it to be able to punish it. If the opponent is also in the air and you happen to hit a jumping medium punch, it puts him in juggle state and you can juggle the air knuckle. Uh, this also works after a light punch perfect. Right? This is sort of a combo and there is some follow-ups here. Uh, you might want to use it as a sort of like a neutral tool out of a neutral jump. Right? But I don't really like this application, but it, it, it is possible, like because it hits really low to the ground. <laughs> so you can kinda cheese the opponent with that, although obviously that is risky. Other than that, there isn't that much utility to this move outside of some very specific combos, so there isn't that much that you do with this one. Alright, so let's quickly go over Luke's super moves because they are really good in my opinion, among one of the very best in the game. I said that his level 1 super is ridiculous, and it totally is, right? This is 6 frame startup, uh, goes about 2 thirds of the screen, and because it's a projectile, it makes it a really good answer to fireballs, right? He's throwing the Hadouken, bam, the startup and the range and the fact that it's a super, that's a projectile means that it will collide with other fireballs, beat them and punish. Not many character got level 1 anti-fireball supers, this is very unique to look, right? Obviously if I do it too late, I'll still get hit, so you have to be careful. It's not invincible to projectiles, but you want to catch the fireball with your superior startup and range. Right? That's kind of the idea. And what's really good about it is uh, it can be used to punish a ton of stuff, right? The opponent jumping full screen, bam, you happen to get the hit. Uh, let's stop him from jumping and let's say uh, like Ken waved a heavy kick. Bam, level 1 super and this gives you a punish. Uh, like let's say for example Ken is going to try to drive rush and stuff. Right. <laughs> Level 1 super, it's also very easy to combo into anytime you get like a launcher knuckle, like a light knuckle that is perfect otherwise, just combo into level 1 super, even getting like an EX flash knuckle and you will combo into level 1 super, Luke got target combos, light medium heavy and you can combo into it or even just double mediums and you will get it, so it does a lot of damage, it's very fast it's also invincible on wake up uh, so let's say for example here Ken is gonna try to press us on wake up I can wake up with my level 1 super fully invincible bam knock him away and I have a lot of distance to work with this is this is outstanding like they don't get better than that for a level 1 super it's pretty ridiculous now his level 2 super is also invincible so you can kind of use it in the same uh, wake up situation right but I don't love using it that way. What is special about his level 2 super is the corner carry, right? So whenever you get like a flash knuckle, medium knuckle, and you get the wall bounce, uh, you can always combo into the EX uh, run shoulder, right? And what's really good about that is the EX run shoulder will combo into his level 2 super, right? And this will give you a lot of corner carry. This is primarily what you want to use this for 
corner carry and give you a ton of damage and now uh, you get to throw loops in right so in that application I like it otherwise I don't and I don't recommend using it as an invincible reversal since you got level 1 super already unless it's gonna kill right now finally he have the level 3 and level 3 is good because it's an anti-fireball super uh, it's not that fast at 12 frames so not the best anti-fireball super but it works and it's a pretty easy one to combo into unfortunately you can't uppercut into super this will never land but you can get like a light knuckle into it uh, this will always work medium knuckle into it work heavy knuckle into it work and even shoulder into it uh, this works as well right so it's an easy level 3 to combo into a lot of utility and it does pretty good damage obviously level 3s in general are very good in this game and it leaves you in a good situation right at plus 18 and resistance you can immediately follow up with a heavy bunch or like a forward heavy bunch and go from there and that is pretty much it for Luke a well-rounded character got an answer for everything Reversal, defense is good, zoning is good, anti airs are good, pressure is amazing, corner carry and damage supers, everything is pretty amazing with this character. It's very well rounded and very, very solid. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like or a comment, it helps the channel so much. I will be leaving a link to the Patreon, Discord, Twitter, and Twitch pages in the description. Thank you so much for watching and stay safe.